Welcome to Exodus 2, The Journey Continues. Yasef Teitelbaum, Brooklyn, New York. Alicia Greenbaum, Melbourne, Australia. Dovi Lieberman, Flatbush, New York. Levi Chatskalevich, Brooklyn, New York. Mendel Margui, Paris, France. Ruvain Medali, Johannesburg, South Africa. Morty Baumgarten, Johannesburg, South Africa. Hanech Kaplan, Baltimore, Maryland. Ellie Gutnick, Melbourne, Australia. Yossi Marazov, Montreal, Canada. Shimon Kramer, Brooklyn, New York. Shua Smuckler, Toronto, Canada. Maishi Shapiro, Brooklyn, New York. Nechemia Deitch, Brooklyn, New York. Mandy Rubenfeld, Brooklyn, New York. Menachem Kaplan, Muncie, New York. Ellie Popak, Cape Town, South Africa. Levi Stulick, Brooklyn, New York. Naftali Rappaport, Toronto, Canada. Vitsala Lifshitz, Cincinnati, Ohio. David Lapkowski, Brooklyn, New York. Chaim Friedman, St. Paul, Minnesota. Chaim Yankel Broner, Brazil. Levi Munchen, Israel. Yankel Berkowitz, Detroit, Michigan. Yossi Weiss, Antwerp, Belgium. Maishi Garari, Buffalo, New York. Schellenberg Cohen, Montreal, Canada. Colin Bialstock, Marstown, New Jersey. Ellie and Juzier, Staten Island, New York. Gentlemen, girls, and boys, you have just entered a time capsule. This capsule has the incredible ability to transfer you into any given age or era of Jewish history. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Egypt. You have just traveled 3,308 years back in time. The year is 2447 in the Jewish calendar. The temperature is a pleasant 21 degrees Celsius. You may now disembark. We hope you enjoy your stay. And the food here, ugh, I hate flat coke. Oh. Oh. You know, so many years, I've been working for these Egyptians. They make us work so hard. The back, yeah, oh. and back. 
knackered so much. Really, I'm sitting on bricks. <laughs> what are you guys laughing about? I'm working and you're like... Yak, yak, yak. Oh, no! Always complaining. No matter what benefits we give these people, they're always whinging and bludging around. Now get back to work. And when I come back here, I want to see a pyramid built. Mercy. No! Yes? Who was that? Could it be... God? I want you to take the Jewish people out of Egypt and bring them to Mount Sinai to receive the Torah. Me? Uh, I really don't know if I can. I mean, it's such a long way. Pharaoh will never let us go. I'm just a simple step above the lift. I don't know if I can. Have no fear, Moses. I shall assist you and perform awesome miracles. Now go, Moses. Go to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go. Uh, yes, my dear servant Akim, what is it you'd like? Oh. I got terrible news. Gee, sorry I'm late. My pole broke down. Hey. Akim, what is it you want to tell me? I got some terrible news. This news, sir. Part of the hieroglyphics, Your Majesty. What is it? The messengers just came in with the news. I took it directly from the horse's mouth. <laughs> well, it's the Jews. They've got themselves a leader. Apparently, he's telling the Jews to prepare themselves to leave Egypt. Uh, to, to leave Egypt? <laughs> the Jews will never leave Egypt. The Jews must stay here and work. <laughs> that, that's him coming right now. That's Moses, the leader. Speak to him. Ah, oh, this is their leader. <laughs> and what is it you like, Mr. Leader? Oh, I have a message to you from God. God? I am the God. He is the God. He is the God. The real God, not the God of clowns. God who created the heavens and the earth says to you, Pharaoh, enough is enough. These Jewish people have stayed here and worked long enough. It's time. Hey! Just stay Peter. <laughs> it's time. It's time to let the Jews go. <laughs> let the Jewish people go out of Egypt? <laughs> Never will the Jews go out of my land. The Jews will stay right here in Egypt and work. <laughs> so, yes, what is it you like? God warns you. If you won't let these Jews out of Egypt, he will bring down upon the Egyptians yeah, the ten plagues. Ten plagues? <laughs> I read about the ten plagues in the Bible. These ones will be double as good. <laughs> Ten plagues! That's ridiculous! <laughs> oh, I guess some people have to learn the hard way. Ah, oh, nonsense! <laughs> oh, this is funny! <laughs> oh, man! Uh, I'm kind of thirsty! Guard, yes, can you, you get me a, a drink of water, please? Right away, sir! All water shall turn to blood. Pour me a glass of water. <gasps> blood! Frogs shall cover the land of Egypt. Don't touch it to get a word. shall be attacked by wild beasts. Egypt.
And when the clock strikes midnight, all Egyptian firstborn shall die. Moses! Yes. Moses! Yes. I, I can't take this anymore! Take the Jewish people and take them out of Egypt! Yes. Go leave! Go out of Egypt! Take a bite of now! We want to have something that looks wow. like this, like this matzah over here. Like a flag. Now, hopefully, all your matzahs are going to come out of the oven, and you are going to get your matzah to take home with you. Are we ready to begin now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. There goes the flour. Woo. Now we just about ready to pour the water and start to wait for 18 minutes. One, two, three, go. Nine.
Exodus over here today in the Yeshiva Center. I learned how, the go uh, how God saved the Jews from Egypt with the ten plagues, and um, if we want to be free today, we must do good deeds. And what did you like of today's Exodus the best? What did it for turning to blood? Um, I like the ten plagues the best. And wh what was your best part today? The map to making. When, we, um, when the Torah came down. Now, what do you say about today's Exodus? Terrific. Really, well done. Kola kavod. It was an amazing, lifelike experience. Some of them got scared, and I think they enjoyed it as a total experience. Did everyone have a good time today? Yay! Okay. What's your name? Dovi Diamond. Which year are you in? Year six boys. Year six boys. Dovi Diamond, what did you learn from today's Exodus? Well, as the same like the Jewish people did good deeds to get out of Egypt on Tzvayim, that's why we should do good deeds to go to Israel with Mashiach. What did you see today in Pharaoh's room? Lots of plagues. Lots of plagues. Are you scared at all? Yes, I was very scared. <laughs> and what did you see in today's Exodus? Um, the, um, the frogs were um, the frogs were jumping. Well, the great thing about Exodus, I guess, was that. Um, it allowed the children to have a, a visual and auditory perspective on the Israelites leaving Egypt, which is great because it's it's easy enough to read about it, but to actually go through and feel it and experience it rather than just reading about it and imagining was just so much fun for them. And they were really delighted and overjoyed with the whole experience. It was lots of fun. Catherine? Um, the thing they really seemed to enjoy was things like being able to have hands-on, so the matzah bakery, being able to go through and touch things and seeing things actually happen um, and it also led itself very well to then doing things back in class as well and the children just rave about it. They think it's fantastic. As one of the staff members of Exodus I think the kids really enjoyed it. They had a great time and really learned a lot especially they uh, came to learn how the Exodus is something which applies to us today as well not just an old story. Exodus 2, The Journey Continues, was produced and directed by the Schluchen to Sydney, Australia, 1996. We would like to thank all our sponsors whose generosity enabled us to make this project the success that it was.
This project is dedicated to the Lubavitcher Rebbe, whose continuous guidance is our strength and spirit. Mm-hmm.